so we've got roughly two miles, not even, to go till we get to Kings Norton Junction. Quite an eventful two miles because of the tunnel. There is a tunnel. And there's a stop for diesel that and we didn't do yesterday. Stop for diesel, yeah. And there's a swing bridge which is left open, and there's the Kings Norton Junction uh, stop lock, which <laughs> is two guillotine uh, locks, or well, two guillotine gates, I guess you'd call it. And uh, but it's it's non-functional, so we'll just be passing through that. Hopefully, we'll get some good shots of it. So we're going to the end of the Stratford Canal. Yep, and we're going to turn on to the Worcester and Birmingham. Well, we're going to find a, a mooring somewhere at the junction, hopefully. Yeah, either maybe before the junction or south of the either, junction. Either, yeah. There's some playing fields there, so that makes the south Ooh, of the junction look like a good idea for that? George. So that's what we're aiming for. Um, yeah, not much of a trip today, but basically we were we were thinking we were going to make it yesterday, and then ultimately we just ran out of time here. So, uh, but that's where we got to run out of time, energy, brain power, <laughs> momentum, all sorts of things, and we weren't able to get until this morning some cookies, and uh, those are necessary to any form of boating operation. So. Um, now we have cookies, and we can move on. So is that what we're going to do? Yeah, I might walk with George. Okay. Kings Morton Junction, the junction is just, that is the junction. So it's premature to say we're there, but we're almost there. I would like to say it was an uneventful it hour and a half. It was fairly uneventful. Got diesel, that was nice. Got some coal, that was nice. Nice yeah. lion's boatyard, was nice. Put in, put in some, uh, some fuel set. And then right at the last couple of minutes, as we were bending around the corner that came to our uh, guillotine lock here, the stop lock, the famous stop lock, um, we hit a tree. And all of a sudden the boat just basically went thunk. It shut, the whole boat shuddered. Yeah. And it wasn't, it was just, it was hidden, like you couldn't see it. Yeah, it was just a dead tree. It was basically like a large, um, well, a small tree that had fallen into the water at some point and, and was basically submerged. You couldn't really see it. But when we hit it, one, we, we kind of hit one end of it and then the other end of it hit the brick and sort of tried to stop us. Mm. And then the tree just sort of shattered. So there's a couple of pieces of broken wood and everything. It's basically embarrassing and then she called me a tree killer and I'm like, I don't want to be a tree killer. <laughs> well, she was already dead. But then we came to the guillotine lock and um, kind of happened again. Yeah, it's open so we just thought we'd sail straight through and then as we were approaching it the boat just started moving to the side into the wall and um, so we smashed into the wall yeah, and that's because there was a bit of timber. A bit of timber and, a, and another sort of, uh, well just a branch really but it it got in our way and it shoved and it us sideways and then the timber kind of kept us from going where we needed to go. It was like it was caught under the front of the boat or something because the whole way through it was... We were really slow. <laughs> it was very unpleasant. And then and there were these plastic bottles that got stuck between us and the 
the sort of ceramic brick siding and everything. So there was this really horrible crushing, crackling noise, and Joe's just like, "What's that?" And, I'm and like, then pretty sure it's a plastic George bottle. George is trying to jump off because we're obviously yeah he thinks we're at land, and then that combined with the fear that the guillotine is just going to come back down and chop our heads off, it's, it's just quite traumatic. Yeah. Oh well. Michael's going to go and do some laundry, I think. Yeah. And I might make some soup. Yeah. And if George is about to be molested by this extremely excited uh, husky. So. And then um, we're going to have a couple of nights here, get the train to Birmingham tomorrow. I am going to get the train to Birmingham tomorrow. Michael's going to do some work. Yeah. Then we're going to turn down the Birmingham and Worcester and head towards... Worcester? What direction is Worcester? I think we come to Worcester. Yeah, it's towards Worcester. Right. Is yeah. that where the famous sauce is from? Worcestershire, I don't know. I would assume yeah. so. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, George is over there being really tiny. Like the video, click the bell, comment, subscribe. <laughs> oh, your bloody heads will never end. It's because you've got a big head. That's recording. Ah, look at this. Ah, there's a hair trying to get into my eye. Move, Fuzz, get out the way. Get out the way, Fuzz, get out the way. There we go. That's a better shot. Ah, it's a fuzzball. She is back in the shot. Are you talking about me or the microphone? Definitely you. <laughs> so uh, rude. You brought it up. You set up the joke. I dunk it. Every time. I suck at basketball, by the way. Like, completely. I couldn't even play golf. Well, I suck, I suck at basketball. I couldn't even. What? Like, basketball takes skills, height. So you just golf. But as a Have watching ever... type game, it's like, oh, look, clunk. Oh, what a beautiful shot. No, it's sky. And. Now it's some green stuff and a tiny little white thing. Have you ever played golf? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I hit the guy beside me. I watched Tin Cup. That was all I needed to know about golf. Bending around the corner that came to our, uh, our, uh, uh, what do you call this thing? Guillotine lock here. But we did better than Louis the 14th. 15th? 16th? One of the Louis. Anyway. And, and Marie Antoinette. We did fine. We made Sorry. it through. The Jacobins. All those people. Um... So we're alive, you know, which is <laughs> good. better to say than Marat. And, uh, and then we're going to turn down the Wormi Wormingham and Buster. <laughs> Wormingham! <laughs> Alright? Yeah. Good. Do I need to do it again? If you want. Nah, I don't want to do it again. Okay. I, like, I like being embarrassed by my own idiocy. Okay.